Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where I've started to fit the chains uh, to the rear transmission. The next thing I'm going to do is to refit the tank and make sure that the chain doesn't soar through the tank because I've just raised the gearbox slightly. So at the moment there's no plates in place to hold the gearbox so what's holding the gearbox in place is this piece of wood here and it's supported underneath by another couple of pieces of wood. As far as I can tell it is straight to the frame in, in that plane and it is straight to the, the frame in that plane as well which would have a, a, an effect on how the belt runs. So I wanted to make sure that with the mud card removed there's enough clearance for the tyre on either side and that all of the runs are as straight as I can get them and then precisely measure here the thickness is either side because the gearbox is slightly offset just to get that belt as absolutely straight as I can get it. So it's all going rather swimmingly well with the gearbox absolutely central everything looks pretty close but by offsetting it by about sort of about well four millimeters um, I get a much better run on that belt and I know that you can run chains slightly out but at the moment using the Mark 1 eyeball and the frame rails as a guide I think that as far as you can tell on the video is pretty spot on the same on this side this clearance to the frame and this clearance to the tire uh, that is pretty bob on and when you look at the um, drive belt as well as far as I can tell that is pretty bob on and it's not hard up against the shoulders on the front. So with the following wind I get some um, plates recut in the right thickness, some plates to hold the gearbox and then I can mount the gearbox. I've actually cut the chains to length, they're pretty tight at the moment, I probably won't run them quite that tight. Um, but they've adjusted up nicely with the wheel central and a similar amount of tension in each chain. Um, which is great because if the, the, the worst case would be it would be half a link out and we had to fit a half link uh, because one of the chains would be a lot saggier than the, saggier than the other. But as long as there's um, enough tension and enough slack in each side, they don't have to be exactly the same. So the next job is to fit the tank across my fingers because I've just raised the gearbox enough to get my, my fingers under there. Originally I had some packing under there, but it was just a little bit close to the bottom of the, the frame rail, and this top run of the belt wasn't quite parallel to the frame rail, and if I can get that parallel to the frame rail, I think it will look all that bit nicer. But it's all about the clearances and the practicalities of it. Everything gets measured, then it gets made, and when it gets made, it then gets remeasured against the actual components. And sometimes you have to make little adjustments. So I'm just going to fit the um, tank now. Bear with me, and I'll pop that in, and hopefully we'll get clearance everywhere and we won't have a problem. Stand by. There we have it, one tank in place. So it is a little bit tight, uh, the clearance between the tank and the uh, frame at the bottom. I'm not quite, sorry, the, the chain at the bottom, not the frame. Uh, that corner just there. There is clearance, I can get my finger in there, uh, but that is a little bit uh, close for comfort. There's plenty of room here, so I'm going to just tweak these pieces of wood just to lower the gearbox slightly. Um, and make sure I've got enough clearance there. But all, all in all, that looks pretty nice. I, I like the, the gold chains, and uh, I'm quite happy with progress so far. As usual, thanks for watching. For a date or follow.